I'm here in Chatham, New York, to speak with poet and illustrator James Christopher Carroll. Let's go. What I mostly do is picture books for children. I have, I think, six or seven books now. Sister Spring will be coming out in uh, spring. And the one that's out now is Mother Winter. I, I do the text, mostly it's poems. And I, I write the poem first, maybe, or I do the illustrations first and see what the illustrations say regarding uh, what the words should be. So it's kind of a dance back and forth. It's about rhythm. It's about uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, a pulse or the breathing, uh, waves. Um, and if you can tap into that, uh, that rhythm, that staccato or that calm, um, that's where it works best. I got into it not because I wanted to write and illustrate for children, to tell you the truth. I got in it because I wanted to create these worlds. I want all ages to be interested. I align more with the illustrators because most of my work is done to, um, to illustrate some words. And I recently said in an artist statement that I love the slow dance across the page of the words and the pictures. It's just, it's just terrific when it works right. I have better results when I let myself stay out of control and not know what I'm doing. I don't do a sketch where this is here and this is here and this is here and then I start coloring it. I don't do that. I've got like this weird thing over here that I sketched in the morning three weeks ago that has nothing to do with maybe what I was asked for to do for a book maybe about Edgar Allan Poe that I'm thinking about working on. But that cross-pollination adds uh, something special. Because once you're in control, you're working with the knowledge you already have. You know, it's just like not being open to what you have to say. You might say to me, Jim, ever consider blah, 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 doing this? And I'd be like, no, I already know. If I already know, then nothing new happens. So I try to stay stay open to what might be suggested. So the process is uh, traditional stuff, ink, paper, paints, gouaches, pastels. I bring them into the computer and then I go, oh my God, now what am I gonna do? <laughs> because it is open-ended. Look what the possibilities are. It's not only this, but it's this and then this, and then there's just so much. Fortunately, my brain has been rewired to be able to deal with that like three-dimensional chess game of having this texture and this color and this shape and, and combining it all together and having it be beautiful. I have Mother Winter here. If you are awake on the longest cold night, when the wind curls and frost holds time, you'll hear her bells and smell the first snow when Mother Winter goes walking. Go out and find her. She's waiting for you. Go out and ride on her long coattails. Wander this eve, dark and deep, when Mother Winter goes walking. So, if you are awake on the longest cold night, when the wind curls and frost holds time, you'll hear her bells and smell the first snow when Mother Winter goes walking. 
in a night kissed with quiet color, she wanders a world already dreaming. Go out and find her. <laughs>